I've been obsessed with an impossible idea. A large source of drag on a vehicle is the void created behind the vehicle as it travels forward. Ever since I learned that, I've been thinking about the idea of creating a car where the air volume of the tailpipe emissions are so large that the exhaust fills this void behind the vehicle. The first thing we need is the smallest frontal area in a car possible. That way there's less air being displaced. So a Lotus Elise seems appropriate for this with a frontal area of 1.65 meters squared. We're also going to theoretically use a direct drive transmission, where at zero miles an hour there's zero RPM, and at the top speed of 140 of a Lotus Elise, we're going to say our engine has an RPM limit of 8k RPM. With a direct drive transmission, the exhaust volume and vehicle speed will be linearly related. So we're going to take the Lotus Elise, and in one second, at 140 miles an hour, the vehicle travels 62.586 meters. This means in one second, the vehicle displaces 103.2669 meters cubed of air. Our engine has a theoretical RPM limit of 8,000, which is 4,000 power strokes per minute and 66.7 per second. Divide 103 by 66.7 and one power stroke of the engine has to produce 1.549 meters cubed of exhaust or a theoretical engine displacement of 1,549 liters. Theoretically, we could take 300 5 liter Coyote engines and line them up and that would give us 1,500 liters, but that engine would be 600 feet long. So even though I say this is impossible, it is theoretically possible. We just need a 600 foot land speed car and 300 Coyote V8s welded together. 